Hey, what's happening, guys? If you don't know what that was, that was Morse code. And if you know what it just said, leave it down below. Anyway, if you guys don't know, I'm into uh, amateur radio. And I have been since uh, 2018 when I first got licensed as a uh, technician and then a general. And then later that year, I got licensed at the uh, level of extra. But somewhere in the 1980s, maybe the 90s, I'm not sure exactly where, the uh, FCC, the Federal Communications Corporation, or whatever, whatever they're called, consortium, those who rule the airwaves uh, decreed that you no longer needed to learn Morse code to get your amateur radio license, which, you know, there definitely opens up the hobby to a lot more people. But on the other hand, you know, you kind of lose something. That's, I mean, that's a, that's a skill that is easily lost. So there are, I don't know, hundreds of thousands, maybe a million or two people out there who still practice Morse code, what they call CW for continuous wave. And uh, I'm starting to learn it because, you know, after yay, yay these many, what, six years later of having my license, I've never learned Morse code. So I want to learn it. And what this does is it takes something that I can type into the serial port. For instance, um, I'll type in my name, Paul, P-A-U-L, P-A-U-L. And when I hit enter, it is going to translate that into the Morse code dots and dashes. So that was my name in Morse code. Now, Morse code is primarily an audio language. I put that LED there so that you can see it. But you don't want to learn Morse code or CW or whatever you want to call it by looking at it. And you don't want to learn it by counting the dots and dashes. You want to learn it by listening to the patterns. And that's what really got me going with this. So, like I said, I've been practicing amateur radio for six years, having fun with it. And uh, I'm hearing a lot of Morse code. And I'm starting to recognize some of the patterns, especially this one. Da, 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 da. That is, or those are the letters C and Q. You hear that a lot because that's generally the beginning of every Morse code conversation. CQ. And what will generally happen is they'll send it three times, like this. So that's three repetitions of the letters C and Q, followed by the letters D, E. I'll do that one one more time. Da, 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 da. That means from. So CQ means I'm looking for somebody. Then from. So we have CQ. DE. And then whoever you are. That's my call sign. So, what I played at the beginning was simply the uh, initial call for a Morse code conversation over the ham radio frequencies. CQ, 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 DE, WW8BR. And the reason I did that is because I want to start learning more of those patterns. Like, for instance, a common question you will be asked is, where, are, where do you live? And that's abbreviated as QTH in Morse code. That's QTH, which I could respond, Ohio, OH. Just like that. So, that's why I created this. And I got the code off of the internet and just kind of massaged it a little bit for my needs. So, let's jump over to the computer and we'll take a look. All right, let's start. This is where I got it. 
arduino.cc slash education slash morse dash code dash project slash and here it is they're using a uh, neopixel thing we don't need any of that so we're going to scroll on down through all of this right here you see code example sketch for a project with one led and this is from uh, project hub morse code translator this is created by vidit shaw and Utkarsh Tawari. So now we can go over and take a look at the code. I mean, it's it's stupid simple. They originally had this uh, LED pin set for uh, number 13, which is the built-in LED on the Arduino board. I changed it to three. And then we have um, arrays containing our letters, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F. G, H, and I. And you can see they're all based on a dot or a dash, which is basically it's a binary system. Then we have our numbers. Where they try 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now here is where you can change your speed. Um, the dot delay, it was originally set for 200, which I found to be too slow, so I sped it up to 100. You can change it if you want pin mode LED pin output so it blinks the LED and in our case it also beeps the little sounder in the main loop we have a character called character if serial serial port is available it will read the serial port if it's uh, not between A and Z <clears throat> then it goes there and if it is between A and Z then we're good then it flashes the sequences it's really quite simple. I will take this code and I will put it in the description down below so that you can have it and play with it as well. All right, so you've seen the code. And there's not much to the assembly. This is just an Arduino Nano. I have five volts brought down to the red rail. It's not even necessary, but I just do it out of habit. I have ground brought down to the blue rail. That is necessary. I have pin three digital pin 3 coming out going to the positive of this little beeper here and then in parallel is this LED with a 330 ohm current limiting resistor so this is not a speaker this is a beeper a sounder piezo little device they're very popular with Arduino you could use a speaker but you would have to uh, instead of doing the digital write you would have to use the tone command because a speaker, if you if you were to turn it on, you would simply get a click. And if you kept holding that DC there, you would eventually eat up the speaker. So the tone command will take care of that by PWMing the port. But it's not necessary in this case. You know, all we have here is just uh, the sounder. So I've been practicing my uh, Morse code now for a couple weeks. And I'm pretty confident with the letter E, T. A and N. Yeah, I got a long way to go. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. And uh, hey, if you're not a patron, please, please, please consider joining. Um, I'm at the point where I'm considering closing the place down just because it ain't making any money. So, you know, a buck a month if you can help out. God bless you. Otherwise, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.